All right, here we are in a beautiful Arlington, Texas morning. A little bit breezy this morning, definitely muggy and hot. We're going to walk around and tell you about a really nice 1966 Chevy 2 Nova SS hardtop coupe. Just a cool looking car. We're going to walk around and tell you about it like we usually do. Very nicely done uh, rotisserie style restoration on this one. A lot along the stock format with a few mild resto mod items. It's finished in a uh, very nice candy metallic blue paint. Look down the body lines here, that kind of thing. It's very nice. We'll get it up on the lift here and we'll actually cover the tire sizes and stuff for you. But it has 17 inches front and rear. Polished American torque thrust on it. Kind of see the overall fit and finish as you go around this car. Nice, uh, started out as a nice original car from what I can tell. And again, we'll spend some more time on the intercarriage on the lift. Uh, kept it really a subtle resto mod, so only just a couple minor things were done to it. But the fit of the panels is very nice. Doors fit nice. Has an upgraded cowl style hood on it. Otherwise, all factory trim has the factory SS Super Sport trim on it. And by the way, the VIN decodes is a SS car. Uh, 66s and 7s are getting pretty hard to find. Good look and feel to it here. It's nice to have a little bit of breeze this morning. Underneath the hood here is a factory appearing 283, 220 horse, horsepower V8 in it. Has a... Uh, Power Glide automatic transmission, factory power steering car, factory drum brake car. The engine, I believe, is original in it. We've done the suffix code on it. We'll spend some more time underneath the hood. It's been upgraded with an Edelbrock four barrel. The factory original four barrel intake is in the trunk of the car, and the factory original air filter. If somebody was tendency to go that way, I'd go probably the other way with this car. I'd do a little few ads here, that kind of thing, but it's hard to get a good start with the body. On a car like this, it is a very, very straight, again, excellent fit body panel car. Polished American torque thrust like we talked about, 17 inches front and rear. You'll see the overall fits very nice. Matching gaps, front to rear on the doors, the fenders, the hood. All factory trim inside, high back bucket seats in it. It has uh, uh, the SS automatic console in it, which would be correct because it's an original automatic car. We'll have the data tag decoded at Spud's Garage for you. We took a picture of that. We'll actually zoom up on, on the engine video for you too. All new headliner, all new carpet, door jam to door jam. Again, rotisserie restoration. The floor pans are the same color uh, as the exterior of the car here. Seat belts front and rear. We actually took uh, short little video clips for you here with the windows up to show you how the windows fit. The windows fit very nice. Both sides, video and photos at Spud's Garage again, like we talked about. Kind of like this candy blue on a very, very cool looking car. Kind of car you can drive, won't break the bank, but uh, see the metallic in here? Has the uh, audio speakers in the back here. We'll get around to the driver's side here. When I was up on the lift, you can't even see it here. There's a little tiny mark right here, but really nothing worth talking about. A little touch up, you'd never even see it unless I pointed it out. Step back and let you take a look at it here. I know we're looking into the sun. All the factory super port, sport trim. This, I believe, is the original trim panel in the back. Uh, I don't think it's been replated. It's been restored, but not replated. The paint on it's been restored. Factory style tail light. Nice little uh, Meg type exhaust tips on the back here. Dual exhaust, factory exhaust, ram manifolds, uh, cast iron manifolds. Handling several cars out of a collection here. We decided to do some in the park today. Uh, down in Arlington, about 10, 12 cars, and we'll be back again. Uh, but great looking little Nova. Beautifully straight body, nice fit. Uh, the original four barrel intake manifold and carburetor that, are, that belong to this car are in the trunk. Car cover's in the trunk. Again, hang on to the video, we'll get there. 
Doors shut very nice on this car. Kind of blank canvas if you wanted to take it to the next level with some resto mod items. Door jam to door jam finish is nice. There's no paint lines on it. Seat backs. Don't know if those are factory headrests or not, but they sure look like it. Factory steering wheel again along the stock format. Uh, it usually generally has idiot lights, but it's got a couple gauges underneath here to help you out. A little bit of extra cooling underneath the hood. Drove this car down here, runs and drives great. Looks like a custom auto, auto sound radio. We never fire up the radios, but there's speakers in the back. You'll notice there's a uh, kind of a hidden antenna underneath here on the dash for the MFM. Automatic console here, believed it's the original console to this car based on looking at it. Starts right up. Basically two keys and a heater. Try to get the wipers working there. Nice sound to it. Again, just not an overdone car. Factory VIN and rosette style uh, uh, rivets around where the VIN tag is. Hang on to the video. We covered this one really nice. Up on the lift for you. And the engine compartment trunk. Alright, we'll get you underneath the hood. Uh, the cowl style hood here is an aftermarket. Um, nice finish. Throughout the body tag is uh, here. We'll have a photo of that at Spud's Garage. You can see the finish as we go around here. Delco style battery. Uh, underneath the hood here, engine wise, is a uh, 220 horse uh, 283 V8. Uh, we have the suffix here. We're going to go back to the shop and check it, but probably I believe this is the uh, original engine of the car, but make sure you go to Spud's Garage for clarification. Uh, the original intake manifold and uh, valve covers are in the trunk of this car. Factory ram horn style exhaust manifolds, we'll actually have it on the lift here for you. Uh, heavy duty big radiator in this little girl. Uh, has a flex cooling fan up front here. Also has additional cooling fan here, so if you're in a hot climate. Has an Edelbrock Performer EPS intake manifold with an Edelbrock four barrel carburetor on it. Factory style distributor. I have no idea whether it has Petronics in there or not, but that's an easy, if you like. More along the OEM style sign. Runs really nice. We'll fire it up here for you and give you a feel. Factory power steering, you notice the power steering pump down here low. But rotisserie style restoration, which means this has been finished all the floor cowl down underneath the car. So make sure you hang on to the undercarriage portion of the video. We'll fire it up here for you. Okay, we're going to reach in and fire it up here. Fires right up, runs very smooth. Nice little aftermarket uh, chrome dual snorkel air filter. All right, we're gonna fire it up here for it and take it a little spin back to the shop, back to the collection. Starts right up. windows down so we're about to get noisy here.
listening to me. Have a great day. Quick little video driver's side window fitment is nice. Here. Passenger side window fitment is nice. Couple of little uh, minor glass scratches here. Alright, we'll get you in the trunk here. Same uh, candy blue finish follows all the way throughout this car. Deck lid, trunk, under hood. We've already seen that. Um, as far as we know, it was an originally equipped, uh, we're going to check the suffix code on the engine when we get back. Uh, originally a 220 horse, four barrel equipped car, power glide automatic. This is a four barrel intake manifold, the original. I'm not going to lift it up, but I've looked. It's a four barrel cast manifold, original valve covers. This is the intake manifold box for the Edelbrock that's on it. It has a full size spare with jack assembly. Trunk pans are nice. Inside of the quarter panels, everything Zola tone, very nice. Pull this car cover out here so you can peek at the other side. Same thing. Good solid little car. There you go. Right, pre-undercarriage here, we thought we'd do a little walk around with it at uh, eye height so you can kind of get a feel of the body. Nice body. This candy blue is very nice. Polished American Torque Thrust uh, wheels and tires on it. They're 17s on the rear, 225-45s in the rear. Here's the rockers. around a post here bird's eye view we'll get the tire size here front tire size uh, again polished American racing torque thrust or 215 45 ZR 17 so 17s all the way around nice straight panels here in the shop all right, we'll get you the underside of this cute little Nova. Very solid car, rotisserie style restoration like we talked about during the walk around. Uh, nicely done in a stock style format. Looked over all the metal on it. Uh, all the rockers appear to be original. We'll go up here to the sides and cover that from you. And the floor pans forward of the trunk pan appear to be all original of this car. Typical uh, trunk pan replacement. They get water in them. But uh, rotisserie restored with the uh, candy blue floor pans just like the top of the car. All the factory pinch welds along both rockers, inner and outer. We wander back, we'll get more into the equipment. I wanted to cover the floor pans here. See the factory style drains here in the floor pans. Unibody construction. as a uh, factory very much restored in its factory style format um, so it has factory power steering on it has factory drum brakes on all four corners with a polished uh, aluminum disc on the outboard so uh, from the outside styling Factory front suspension. Again, uh, rotisserie style. This is the bottom of the two, 283 Chevy uh, V8. I'd say uh, Power Glide automatic transmission right there. Would have been factory in this car with the factory SS console. 
dual exhaust, Flowmaster mufflers, factory ram style uh, exhaust manifolds on it. Nice little sound. Has uh, air shocks in the rear so you can give it that 70s jacked up look if you want to throw some air in it or if you're throwing passengers in the trunk.